it changes the whole page, including those elements, to match my branding style. Sometimes there are elements within Canva that don't match the kind of aesthetic that you are looking to create on your YouTube channel. I'm going to show you a couple different ways to fix that. Let's say that your YouTube channel is all about gardening and you pulled up these gardening gloves, but these gardening gloves are not in your color scheme. The very common way to change that would be to click each individual color and go in and change each individual thing to match your color palette. I'm going to show you a quicker way. On the left hand panel, there's one called design. Within design, there are templates and styles. For this trick, you want to be on styles. At the top of mine, you're going to notice something called the Creator Classroom. This is my brand hub. This is the brand kit for the Creator Classroom. If I go and I click this one that says TCC Palette and I click it, guess what? It changes the whole page, including those elements, to match my branding style. Even if you don't have Canva Pro, you can create a brand kit with three colors in it. So you should be able to, no matter what, be able to do that. However, if you've not set that brand kit up, then what you can do is scroll down and there'll be things like recently used. They even give you some combinations that you can try. When you do this, some of them have fonts. So it will bring up a font. We're going to undo this and just look at the color palettes. And so you can try different color palettes and look and see which one matches what you want to do for this specific element. When I click on it, you're going to notice that every single color was chosen from this color palette. Now, if I wanted to change something like this blue to something else, say like black, I could do that. This gives you a very quick start on changing the colors within this element. Here is a picture. And maybe you don't want it to be a picture. Maybe you want it to be a solid silhouette. Click on Edit Photo. And then under the FX tab, you're going to scroll over until you see Duo Tone. We're going to click on Duo Tone. And really, you can select any of these you like, but I'm going to choose Custom because I want to custom choose a color. There's two ways that you can do this. First, you will need to choose highlights and shadows to choose your color. So we're going to choose highlights first. The first little trick is that you can just select the color that you want here. Let's say that your color scheme is the specific purple. Then what we're going to do is this is called a hex code. We're going to copy this hex code. Control C. And then we're going to click on shadows and control V or command V if you're on a Mac. And then it makes it this nice silhouette shape. Now I mentioned there's another way that you can do it. If you know your specific code that you want, let's say that it is this color right here. We're going to click that color. We're going to go ahead and click it again so we can pull up our hex code and copy. Oh, I pasted and copy that hex code. And then we can go back and we can paste that hex code right into the highlights and right into the shadows. And so now we've got this. I'm going to take this and put it here. And do you see how now these two elements match and would go great together on one design? There are some things that this duotone effect will not work well on. And let me show you an example. When it has a shadow like this, this duotone effect will not look right. We're going to click Edit Photo and then go over here to Duotone. And if I click the custom one where it sort of has a black and white image, it looks okay. But if I'm wanting to do a solid color like the other one, 
let me just paste in that same color that one even looks okay where your shadow is black but if you make it the same color it just looks a little off this may be an effect that you want to use but more than likely you probably don't want to use this because the shadow is a little harsh for the plain silhouette look let me scroll back it does look a little better so if you want to use this on an effect that has a shadow underneath it then make sure that you do have the shadow is the darker one and then the color that you want as the highlight and show you if this was white it wouldn't look right when you use the darker one it does look right earlier you heard me mention styles and when I mentioned styles, I also mentioned the brand hub and brand kit. In order to do this, it really is beneficial to have your brand kit set up. What you want to do next is watch this tutorial on the brand hub. And I'll see you next time. Bye.